for today's video, I'm gonna be doing like, uh, is it worth the hype? Video uh, based on the new Urban Decay Naked Heat Palette. So this bad boy right here, this has been literally all around YouTube. There are so many mixed reviews about it, um, but I'd seen a couple tutorials um, and like swatches of it. And I wanted to give it a try because this is honestly like this palette was made for me. I have blue eyes, so I love anything warm toned, like browns and reds. This palette is literally all warm tones. Oh my gosh, the brush is gonna come out. I've also used this palette, by the way, but I haven't like gone in and swatched each color. Each color, oh my gosh. But in this video, I do um, for you guys. So yeah, I've used a couple of the colors, but I have not used all of them. Um, so I'm gonna be inserting swatches um, in this video so that you guys can see um, what they look like on the skin. Um, but in my opinion, I don't really go off of what swatches look like on your arm because I find they look different on your arm than they do on your eyes. So, I mean, take it with a grain of salt, but basically, today's video I'm gonna be talking all about this palette and I'm also gonna be using some of the colors so I can see how they like apply on my eyes um, and yeah so if you guys want to see um, if this palette is worth the hype in my opinion then just keep watching okay so this is what the outside of the packaging looks like um, it's definitely more bulky than the others um, I'm gonna compare it to the naked uh, 2 palette I only have that one so yeah I'm gonna compare them so you guys can kind of see what it looks like so side by side um, this is obviously the naked heat palette and this is the naked 2 so so um, if I put them together, there's not like a huge difference. The Naked Heat is definitely bigger than the Naked 2 palette, but I mean, they're both kind of clunky. Um, I believe the original Naked palette is even thinner than this one, I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, they're both in the same kind of packaging, like it's kind of like a plastic or like tin. Um, and this one opens really nicely. It kind of has like more of like a magnet. Um, and this one, you just kind of like click it into place. Can you hear that? Anyways, yeah, I don't know why I originally got this palette because you can tell, let me just put them side by side. One of them is definitely more cool toned than the other. Can you guess which one it is? I don't know why I picked this up. I hate cool tone colors on my eyes. I never ever use silvers or blacks and stuff. So that was, I got that one before I knew what like complimented my eyes best. Um, but as soon as I saw Kaylin using this on her channel, like I knew I had to have it because anything Kaylin has, I need it in my life. The lipstick I bought um, and that I'm wearing right now is one that like is her all-time favorites. It's the Bite Multi Stick in Cashew. But anyways, um, I wanted to pick this up. I got this a couple weeks ago actually. I pre-ordered it on the Sephora website, I think. Um, so I got it before it was actually available in stores, but I haven't gotten the chance to make this video. So I'm really sorry that this video is kind of late. But anyways, yeah. So this is what it looks like up close. I'm going to insert um, my swatches now. So for my swatches, I just kind of like moved my finger up and down on the palette and then swatched it on my arm. I mean, I didn't like spray my arm. My arm doesn't have like primer or anything on it. They're just normal swatches. Um, and the metallic ones definitely showed up a lot more pigmented. Some of the matte ones were a little bit more powdery, but I mean, if I'm using an eyeshadow, I know there's probably gonna be fallout, so that really doesn't bother me. Um, you can always do your foundation after or just put translucent powder under your eyes to kind of catch the fallout. That really doesn't bother me, but I did notice that the matte shades were more powdery than the metallic shades. Um, and then the two lightest shades, which are Ounce and Chaser, those ones didn't come up on my skin, like obviously as pigmented as the others, but they're really light color, so it might have been just like my skin tone. I'm sure if you had a deeper complexion complexion than me, they pr you probably see them like better on your skin tone. Um, but yeah, other than that, I mean, I really like all of the shades. My favorite is probably lombre it's kind of like a rose gold metallic shade it's right here and i also really like he devil and cayenne so it's those two matte shades i love um those kind of shades for like my whole lid um if i'm going for more like a smoky look so there's 12 shades in each palette um does it say how many ounces or whatever it is um oh it says 12 times 1.3 grams um i'm gonna see if that's the same in the original palette so yeah, you're getting the exact same amount of eyeshadow in this one um, as you would in the new palette. And I'm gonna put, I can't remember how much you paid for this, but I'm gonna put it up on the screen how much this one costs. Kind of like your basic average eyeshadow palette. I mean, I don't mind splurging on an eyeshadow palette because I never go through a whole one. So, I mean, I'm gonna have it for a really long time. Even though I think these are only good for like a couple years. I think this says 24 months, but I mean, I definitely have had some of my eyeshadow palettes for longer than two years. Um, but yeah, that's basically 
like all I have to say on this. I really like this palette if you're into warm tones, but if not, um, there's tons of warm palettes out there that you can also get. The Morphe 35O is an amazing palette. I know Morphe has kind of like a bad rep in some people's eyes. I have no issues with them. I really like that eyeshadow palette. It's a staple for me in the like autumn season. But yeah, if you love Urban Decay and you're more into like warm eyeshadows, I definitely would pick this up. This is gonna be amazing for the fall. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say. I don't know, I'm not getting paid to say any of this. This is just my opinion. So again, um, take it with a grain of salt because everyone's opinions are different. Um, and yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead in and jump into this little like eyeshadow tutorial. I don't really know, I haven't planned what I'm gonna do, but we're just gonna jump into it. So if you wanna see um, me using some of these colors on my eyes to actually like put them to the test, um, then carry on watching. Okay, so I don't have any um, eyeshadow primer on or anything, but I do have like foundation and concealer over my eyes. So we're just gonna go with that. So I'm first gonna go in with the shade Ounce. It's this first shade here. I'm just gonna use that all over my lid just to make sure that the colors will blend out nicely. So this honestly doesn't even show up on my eye, but it's a good shade to use all over your lid just to kind of like set your primer in place so that your um, eyeshadow doesn't like not blend out, if that makes sense. Um, next, I'm going to go in with Sauce. It's the third color in. It's like this nice, warm, lightish brown. I'm gonna use that in my crease as a transition color. So I don't know if you can see, but I do have fallout on my cheek. That's not something that bothers me, but if it's something that like you really care about, um, I definitely had some fallout on, um, with, like, with that color. Okay, so that is what sauce looks like in my crease. I really like this color. It's a really nice, warm transition shade. Um, also, when I did this, I, I tapped off my brush um, after dipping it in a couple times. That definitely saved um, me from getting any fallout under my eye. I didn't get any under um, my left eye. So yeah, definitely um, just tap off your brush and then you won't have to worry about getting like a ton of fallout underneath your eyes. Okay, so my battery just died, so I really hope that like this positioning is like similar to the clip before. Um, but anyways, um, I'm gonna deepen up my crease, I think. I'm gonna go in with, um, I think I'm gonna go in with Cayenne. It's this shade right here. It's kind of like more of like a reddy brown, but it's not as red as He Devil. Um, they're both very similar, but Cayenne is more like brown toned and He Devil is more red toned. So yeah, I'm gonna go in with Cayenne and I'm just going to put that on my outer corners. Topping off the excess when you have a ton of fallout. Okay, and then for all of my lid, I'm gonna go in with Lombre. I think that's how you say it. Um, it's just this super, super pretty like rose gold, but it has like a ton of red in it. So I'm just gonna pack that all over my lid and then um, finish with my lower lash line. So I'm not getting a ton of color um, or payoff using my brush. So I'm gonna go in with my finger because I know um, if you use your finger, like you'll get the most out of your eyeshadows, especially if they're more metallic. Wow, okay, so definitely, if your brush isn't picking up enough product, definitely go in with your finger because that made like literally the world of a difference. And then for my lower lash line, I'm just gonna go back in with Sauce and Kyan. I'm just kinda like mixing those two together and then smoking out my lower lash line so it matches the top. Finally, I'm just gonna go in with a mix of Ounce and Chaser. Those are the two lightest shades. I'm just gonna use that as like my highlighting colors in my inner corner and then under my brow bone. Okay, so again, going in with your finger will give you more color payoff um, instead of using like your brush. So I just went and popped some um, fake eyelashes on and mascara. So this is the final result. I'm just gonna go a little bit closer so you guys can see. So my final verdict, if I think um, this Urban Decay palette is worth the hype, um, I definitely think if you're really into warm tones, um, 
then you should definitely pick this up if you're in the market for a new palette um, it is pricier but I mean in my opinion I'd rather spend more on an eyeshadow palette out of anything because I find like at the drugstore like it's really hard to find a really good pigmented palette um, so yeah I definitely think it's worth the hype um, I would however um, if you do decide to buy it and use it. Um, if some of the colors aren't swatching right for you, um, or if they aren't applying as pigmented um, with like your eyeshadow brush, definitely go in using your finger. Um, I know with like ColourPop eyeshadows, um, they always recommend using your finger just because you'll get the most color payoff, um, especially with like the more metallic shades. The only downside to this palette, um, it is a, like a little bit bulky, but I mean, in my opinion, I feel like my eyeshadow palette is more protected if it's bulkier. Um, I, don't, I don't really go traveling with like my most favorite eyeshadow palettes like because I'm scared they're gonna break um, and then on top of it I wish um, they had more um, like brown tones and maybe like one gold in the palette they don't actually have one they really only have one transition shade that you could use which is sauced I mean you definitely could use any color for a tr transition shade but to me that would be like the only perfect color I would use it's like it's not dark um, but it definitely has like enough pigment to be able to go in your crease um, and I didn't really realize that until I watched another review of another girl mentioning that. Um, but I mean, I have like so many eyeshadow palettes that have browns and golds in them that I can just reach and grab one. Um, it's not an issue for me, especially because I don't travel with these kind of palettes. Um, and then on top of it, it's definitely, in my opinion, more of like a going out makeup palette. There's not too many shades that you could use for everyday wear apart from like maybe the first or um, unless you go out with like a full sm smoky eye like this then by all means like this palette is fully for you but I mean for everyday wear if you're not into wearing too much makeup then this palette um, you might not be able to get the most wear out of it but for me when I do go out um, or go out to dinner I love I love going for these kind of looks so to me this was definitely worth the hype I love it um, I'm definitely going to be using this in future videos and I'm going to be using it um, a ton during the fall season. So yeah, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you guys have tried this palette, let me know down in the comments if you guys liked it, if it was like a hit or miss for you. Um, everyone's different to each their own. Some palettes are going to work for some people and some aren't. So um, definitely all about preference. Take my opinion with a grain of salt. Definitely go swatch it at Sephora um, or just keep your receipt so you can return it if you end up not liking it. But I definitely really liked this palette. If you enjoyed, um, don't forget to smash that thumbs up and subscribe down below. Um, that way you don't miss any of my future videos and my face in your subscription box. Um, and yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next Saturday for a new video. Bye! Bye.